Hello and welcome to the FEEB North American R&D Lab as we demonstrate linkage setup on the combustion cart. The combustion cart is a valuable tool that delivers hands-on learning opportunities to common combustion system issues that may arise. Linkages are frequently used with air valves, fuel valves, and dampers. Regardless of the type of actuator or process being used, the principles of linkage setup will remain the same. During the linkage setup, there are three control points. The first is the pivot point on the motor's arm, which connects through the linkage to the motor shaft center line. The second is the pivot point on the valve's arm, which connects through the linkage to the valve shaft center line. The third is the length of the connecting rod. Pressure control valves will only control a system when they are taking significant pressure drop. It is important to look at the process requirements of the system, such as flow, pressure, and temperature, disregarding the current valve position. In this demonstration, the process requirement of interest is the burner air pressure. Open the valve until the air pressure on the burner is maximized. Although the valve can open further, doing so will have no effect on the system. Avoid overstroking the valve. Butterfly valves have almost 100% flow when 70% open, under the best conditions. Alternatively, if able, adjust the upstream pressure to allow for maximum valve travel. Try to use as much of the valve travel as possible to gain the highest degree of control resolution. From here, position the motor arm and valve arm. Commonly, motor arms are adjustable, while valve arms are pinned in place. Set the arms so that any movement presents an instant reaction from the flow being controlled. Avoid setting the connecting rod parallel to the motor or valve arms. This can lead to conditions where the linkage may lock up or jam. To begin stroking the valve, start with both flow pivot points near the middle of the arms. At the low flow position, set the process by adjusting the length of the connecting rod. Slowly stroke the valve to the high flow position by hand if possible. Watch for linkage binding or overstroking. Adjust the high flow rate by moving one of the pivot points in or out, and then adjust the length of the connecting rod. Moving towards the motor valve or center shaft line provides less travel. Conversely, moving farther out creates more travel. Each time the process is switched between low and high flow, the adjustments will become less significant.